Got another scrapping video for you guys. Um, I recently just took these two dishes off my house because uh, I don't use dish. And I got a dish 500 and a no name brand or something that washed away. These are the prongs that shoot off the signal. I have one that is double and I have one that is single. Um, the dishes itself are steel. But I have read up that there is cast aluminum and actual gold plating in these. But then again, I've also seen that these ones are harder to take apart than the single ones. So I'm going to take apart this one first. And then I'm going to take apart the single one. And um, leave these out for steel. I'll probably give these to another scrapper. And of course you're going to get your cable here. There's not much of it. I clipped most of it off the roof already. There's more. Um, I take that in as light wire. But I'm going to hop right into this and show you what I can get out of these cords and get the aluminum. So out. I'm going to move on to this first. Um, this is a hard plastic around it. Um, there's no real screws inside of it that uh, give me an option to uh, just take it apart easily. So I'm going to see if I can just kind of rip it apart. But here's the hole. It seems like this is cast. Cast aluminum. Let's see if I can't open this up with the hammer. Stop moving you guys back too much. Let me do it off camera. Right, so here's the shell pulled off. Yeah, that is cast for sure. Just to make sure, I'll throw a magnet at it. Hope you guys can still see that. Some connector. Kind of looks brass. I'm not going to say it is or it isn't. Well, it looks like there's a seal in here. It doesn't look like there's any real easy way to open this up. I know there's supposed to be something in here. Let me see if I can't figure it out. So it does have a nice waterproof seal. And if you were one to say that this would be, this would now be from good aluminum to crappy aluminum because of the materials inside of this. Uh, no big deal. I threw it in with my cans. But check out that board. I'm going to remove this second piece of cast. There's a lot of gunk in there though. I'm going to remove this piece of cast that's around it. See if I can't get that board out nice and easy. I don't know if I've seen a, a board that's had that much gold in it. I don't really want to destroy it. But there are screws that go into pretty much nowhere, or at least the other side of us. I think I'm gonna hop into the second one. I'll come back to that later. So here's the second one. Once again, it's got it's a two pronger, and it's got the hard plastic out on the outside. So once again, I'm gonna smash that out. So as you can see, it looks like spiders or something has infested it. Good thing.
think I'm not a crybaby and I don't really care about stuff like that. But once again, this is cast. Or at least it gives out the appearance of cast. You know what? Just so I don't let out a horde of spiders. Not surviving that. Of course, now that means I can't really touch with my bare hands. I have to give it a second to either cool off. But. This one at least is screwed in, so that means I can unscrew it. I mean, obviously these are steel steel screws, but um, it seems like if there's going to be a board in here, obviously it's going to be bigger. here not hot anymore that's actually some really nice cast aluminum right there Let's see if I can poke a hole right through here After getting this plastic off, I'm going to throw it in my aluminum bucket, my better aluminum bucket. When you melt metals down, or at least aluminum down, you have your junkier aluminum, which is going to have a lot of dross, and then um, you're going to have your better aluminum, which has little dross. Your cast aluminum almost has zero draws almost it's not perfect but it is better than the other two described the worst part is that that were the only screws those are the only screws in this so once again I'm gonna have to break that seal on the back here and see uh, I can get inside there. So here it is with the seal removed. Um, this one doesn't look as great as the board. So, quick little process here. I might crack um, this one open a little bit. And I got me some chunks of cast aluminum here. Which, you know, the whole thing is cast, but. And you see that board? Check out the back side. I would say that is a great board for cold recovery. Um, I'm going to continue to work on how to figure out how to remove this since there's no screws on that side. So that's it for the video guys, you're going to get some aluminum, cast aluminum, and some gold plated boards. Um, I, should, I saved this for last because uh, I got the piece off, and here's that board. You know you got some monolithic, monolithic capacitors, um, you got some chips here for gold recovery, here's the back of it guys. 
That's an awesome board right there. Now, if you guys do gold recovery, I would advise to pick up every uh, satellite dish you got, you see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, comment, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Happy scrapping, guys.